Hey there, Rivet family. Happy Friday. We made it through another week. Um, we're finishing up this week of training with a 20 minute AMRAP, as you can see, called Big Drip. We have, uh, we have some running, we have some biking, we have some dumbbell snatches, and we have some chest bar pull ups. So we've got a couple of cardio stations at the beginning of each round. Then we've got some lifting there in the middle with our snatches, and then we're finishing up with some gymnastics on the bar for body strength. Nice mixture of movements. Um, so a 20 minute AMRAP, ideally, theoretically, each station should take about a minute or so, give or take. Uh, then we got to count in, you know, kind of short rest here and there, transition times. So I think it's reasonable to expect to see scores today in the four plus rounds to five plus rounds, four and a half, five and a half rounds, some of that, some of that general range today. We'll try to keep each station again to about a minute. So each round starts with a 200 meter run, right down and back, about a minute, hopefully. Hopping on our bike, we got 16 calories for the fellas, 12 for the ladies. Again, hopefully about a minute. We uh, really focus on pushing, putting some body weight into those pedals, driving hard with those legs. We should be able to crank those out in again about a minute. Uh, 14 dumbbell snatches. So we're going to choose that uh, you know relatively heavy dumbbell today. We only have to do 14 reps in each set, seven per arm. We're going to switch hands each and every rep. Right? We are. Making sure both heads of the dumbbell touch the floor at the bottom, right between the feet, right? We're using our legs and hips to jump up hard, right? Getting a lot of speed and elevation and momentum on the way up. We pull that elbow high so the weight stays nice and close to the body. And then we finish by jumping it all the way up. Ideally finish with a nice vertical arm here, your ear and your bicep right next to each other before going right back down. Um, switching between reps, two different styles here. We can bring it all the way back down to the floor between the feet, switch hands, and go. Um, this is a little bit slower, but it also enables you to get into a good position every single time, right? Making sure the feet are in a good position, the hips, everything else. Um, so it's a little slower, but again, better position. If you feel very comfortable with the snatch movement, we can switch in the air, right? So as we're coming down, we switch hands, go right into that next rep and go, switch hands, and again, faster, but the danger is that weight might kind of pull you off balance and you end up in a bad position. So it's kind of a trade-off, real comfortable, switch in the air, not quite so comfortable, switch on the floor. Um, again, choose the number of variation there that you can put a station in about a minute. And then finally, probably the most challenging uh, part of the workout today is our gymnastic station. We've got 12 chest to bar pull-ups. Again, we're picking a uh, number or variation that you can clear the station in about a minute. So, what is a chest bar pull up? We're going for a big, hard kip, strong pull. You know, ideally, we're doing that, pulling that bar down. We're actually making contact with the upper part of the chest with our pull up bar. So, if you have some chest bar pull ups, but maybe you can't do 12 in a minute, feel free to scale that number down, right? So, we don't get to keep the original movement. I turn that 12 into a 10 or an 8 or something that you can successfully get done in about a minute each and every round. If we don't have our chest of bar pull-ups yet, we can turn that into 12 chin over bar pull-ups, right? We're not worried about the chest contact, we're just getting chin over bar. And remember guys, very important with chin over bar pull-ups, try not to, don't, or I'm not going to say try not to, don't reach for the bar with your chin, right? It's very tempting to shorten that range of motion by reaching the chin up like this because it makes the pull up just a little bit, it makes it easier, right? But if you don't do the work, you don't get the benefit. So when you're doing your pull ups, keep that head neutral, making sure we're getting that bar all the way down below the chin with the chin in a neutral position as opposed to reaching, right? Don't do that. Um, and then if we don't have those yet, we're gonna do some ring rows. We'll have 16 ring rows as he said for our 12 chest bars. Um, that's all I got for you, 20 minute AMRAP. Four plus, maybe as many as five or five plus rounds today for feeling it. It's Friday. It's time to go for it, get a good workout in, and finish the week. All right? Have fun with this one, guys, and have a great weekend.